Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering the best Firefox security extensions. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so firstly what I'd like to cover is what exactly Mozilla Firefox is. So before we look into the add-ons, Mozilla Firefox is a free and open source web browser that offers a fast and secure web browsing. Now, so it's just your regular uh, browsing web uh, web page or web source. So just like Chrome, Bing, or any other open source um, browsing, uh, this is pretty much what it's like. Now, there's at least over 100 million users actively using this browser and has grown over the years to come uh, one to become one of the most popular and open source products for the web. So it actually has started or began around the 1998, 1999, I do believe. And it started gaining popular popularity at around 2004 and onwards. So what exactly are Firefox extensions? So for those who are familiar with the Chrome extensions, it's pretty much the same thing. So Firefox extensions, also known as plugins or add-ons, are like apps for the Firefox browser. Now it brings a whole new level of functionality to make the user's experience a lot easier when browsing the internet. Now there are hundreds of Mozilla extensions that are created for different functionalities by developers. Firefox did initially lack from useful plugins, but this has now changed and is as good as using Chrome extensions when browsing using Chrome. So as I've said, it's pretty much the same as Chrome extensions. Uh, the only difference is, of course, the browser. Uh, there are some similarities for the extensions used as well. And of course, what's very useful about extensions is that it's more towards the user's uh, use. So it's helpful, helpful for them if they're a business and they need to just get things around faster around the web, then the extensions will help them. Or of course, if it's privacy or security reasons, then this would be one of the reasons as well to have those extensions. So the first privacy and security plugin or add-on that I want to cover is actually the ad blocker. And pretty much what this is, is that it just prevents any of those flashy or you know, annoying advertisements that tend to be everywhere. So this could be using streaming uh, websites like YouTube, Vimeo, or even Facebook. So you, uh, you may see a few advertisements that have been scattered around the actual page itself. Now, as well as that, uh, Adblocker is a great way to remove potentially harmful ma malware or hidden malware that's within those adverts. And uh, again, it's just a means to get rid of those unnecessary, like unwanted advertisement. So uh, before we continue and look at the different extensions, let's go ahead and explore some of the different ad blockers available for you. So using the search toolbar on the top right, I've went ahead and searched up for an ad blocker. Now, as you can see, there are a list of different options there, which is Ghostry, which we'll cover later on. We've got ad blocker on uh, ultimate, webmail ad blocker, ad guard ad blocker, and a couple of more different ones. Now, of course, if you were to click on one, which is the ad blocker ultimate, all you would need to do is just add that to Firefox and that'll just automatically add it for you. You don't have to do anything else uh, apart from just wait and see. Of course, you can choose to donate as well if you wanted to. Now this is a free extension, just to note, you don't have to pay for anything. This is pretty much just a optional uh, extra if you need to, uh, or if you would like to. Now we'll go ahead and actually put this to use. So here is one of our uh, websites here, for uh, which is called Conley Cove. Now, as you can see, there's meant to be a couple of advertisements showing here but it is being blocked by our ad blocker ultimate. So it's actually blocking two adver uh, advertisements. Now, if I do go ahead and uh, disable filtering on this website and I refresh this, so the ad blocker is now not active for this website. It will bring up some adverts. So as you can see, uh, there's an advertisement there below, which is called Volient. 
and it's actually just uh, playing on the background there or just a uh, it has a little block here on the bottom now if I go ahead and enable the filtering for this website as you can see it completely disappears and like I said there are other options as well for a ad blocker so you've got ad guard ad blocker you've also got web mail ad blocker and this is to do with any email based uh, areas for like a web based email uh, so it's used for Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook and Yahoo it's pretty much just to get rid of those adverts but the same should um, happen anyway for using the ad blocker ultimate so that's pretty much what what that is in a nutshell it's very easy to use all you need to do is just click uh, add on to the Firefox and then you don't even have to do any anything uh, ridiculous to get this add-on working which is a good thing about these extensions uh, but anyway we'll go ahead and move on to our next add-on or plugin so our next one here is LastPass now this is another popular one to use uh, this is great for some companies as well if they want some employees to access some of the same accounts and as well as that LastPass is also great um, for storing some sensitive information it could be uh, like your social uh, so social security number um, or your national in, um, security number uh, or as well as that it's just to store your bank details uh, just bits of information that you would use on a daily uh, and what's also good about using the last pass is that if you have multiple passwords of course this would be a great way to store them so this is your passwords and usernames and uh, on top of this as well you can you can pretty much uh, get some auto generated passwords and it'll vault it for you and keep it safe you can only use this within one device and one device only so you can't use LastPass for different devices and you can also have the option to use the free version or also the paid version so that's uh, pretty much what that is anyway we'll go ahead and take a look at the extension itself so this is the LastPass password manager now it also gives you just a pretty uh, pretty much just an insight on, on what it looks like so that's pretty much the Facebook one here uh, it auto fills your passwords and forms so say you have a couple of different emails or passwords towards it then you can add your um, you can store them in so of course it can be confusing especially if you have multiple passwords and you have them in different layouts even if you have the same password but it'll be in different layouts it can you can tend to forget it and get locked out of your own account so it's always good to have a backup which is the last pass which holds it in for you now of course as well as that it's good for um keeping some of your forms as well like, uh, as you can see it generates auto generates some secure passwords for your accounts so depending on how long you want it to be you can have it within a 12 character length all the way to like a 20 character length if you wanted to uh, so that's pretty much just what LastPass looks like and just add it all you need to do is add to Firefox and that just automatically comes in and you can pretty much just use it as normal so it'll ask you for permissions you just say yes and it might give me a redirect just depending but as uh, as well as the password manager uh, for LastPass there are other ones to use so if we look at the if we go ahead and search up LastPass again as you can see there is a master password for Firefox you've got add last active class to tab uh, multi-pass uh, passman so just a different um, amount of extensions as you can see so here's one that uh, stores uh, credential uh, your credentials so there's vault pass uh, we got a password generator as well so just a list of different versions so anyway we'll go ahead and take a look at another extension now here's a similar one uh, to LastPass which is called Ghostry or this is sorry uh, very similar to the ad blocker which is uh, Ghostry now uh, what's great about this is that it enables you to 
uh, block some advertisements within a website as well. And on top of that, it shows and sees um, who's tracking you, uh, gives you the ability to block or unblock them. And it's also great for helping uh, users see who is tracking websites. So you can also disable the trackers, which help them avoid letting trackers uh, know that you were there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check it out. So this is the Ghostry uh, extension. And this is pretty much what it shows that you could trust the site, restrict the site. Uh, you can pause Ghostry as well. Uh, you can have anti-tracking, ad blocking, and smart blocking. So a couple of different things that you could do, uh, as you can see with the advertisement there, that's what it's showing that um, gets pretty much uh, removed. And of course, there's enhanced ad blocking as well anti-tracking and smart blocking and a simple view. And it's as simple as just adding that to Firefox and then that is pretty much just in for you. And just to get a quick close up on that again, this is pretty much what you'll get. So depending on what site you'll be, you could say that you could trust this site, you could restrict that site. And then as I've said earlier on, you could pa uh, pause the ghostry. Now, ad blocking will be enabled. You'll have anti tracking enabled. And of course, you can uh, have the never consent on. So, that's pretty much what the ghostry is. It's pretty much similar to the ad blocker, but times 10. It is a little bit better to use, uh, as ad blocker is just purely just blocking ads, but this is blocking other bits as well, as well as tracking the, you know, um, it, just to see if you're getting tracked. Uh, so yes, that, that is what the Ghostry extension is all about. Now here's our next one, which is Site Jabber. So this is a trusted security extension. It displays a small red, uh, green and yellow icon. This helps the user determine where it falls on the rating list for the site. The icon lets users see a display that includes a summary of the site. Users can find detailed reviews on that site and can leave a review if they click on it. So we'll go ahead and check out this extension. So this is what it looks like on the actual, uh, or for the add-on. So what's great about this is that you can actually rate and review on every site. So this just makes sure makes you um, sure whether you can access that site. And it basically, as, as it says there, you can avoid scams. You could have pretty much a detailed rating. Um, you can also ask questions about any site as well. You could see the ratings on search results and to see if whether or not it's a trusted source. So uh, pretty similar to the ad blocker, it's pretty much just uh, makes sure that you're entering a site that isn't filled with any malware, viruses or scams, uh, of course, based on the rating. Now it's as simple as add to Firefox and you could add it in. Now, as you can see, it's added now. If I use this for Con uh, uh, Conley Cove and use the extension, uh, it gives us a rating bar here, which I'll actually show you now. So here's an example I've picked out for YouTube. So as you can see, it has a community, community rating of 3.5 out of 5 with 100, uh, 1,333 reviews. And as you can see, they've got uh, 16 Q and A's as well, questions and answers, and pretty much just gives a detailed look over the actual website. Now, of course, some sites will have reviews, some won't. So just make sure you double check them uh, just before entering that site. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much just what the site jabber is all about. Okay, so in conclusion to that, users can always alter the site using these Firebox extension, uh, Firefox extensions. Uh, to their advantage, they can consider what to blacklist or whitelist. Again, the primary goal of an extension is to change and improve the user's experience. These extensions in particular allow users to have full control of their privacy and security. So uh, yes, folks, that's pretty much the height of all the different extensions you can use. Now, um, do note, this is just a foundation of what you can use. These are some a, a few examples of the extensions you can use and how you could use it to your advantage, especially when you're safely trying to browse the web. Now, um, I've not said that this is all of them. There are plenty more to look for in the 
uh, add-ons page of Firefox. So just be sure to look out for them and check out what's featured. Have a look at what you will actually need for, say, your business or yourself as an individual. And overall, just a um, extension to protect you uh, for your privacy and security. Anyways, folks, that's all I have for you today. If you guys have any questions at all uh, about the uh, video for today, please do let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you very much.